Welcome everybody to a new series of tutorials on BeatHawk. BeatHawk is a music production studio and in this video as I normally do um, in the first video of the series I'm going to go through the interface so that you get familiar with how the application looks and feels. So <clears throat> let's start from the top left. So we have a question mark which will redirect you to the uh, website where you can get additional help. Then here you have a menu where you can, uh, for example, load a new project. It will give you a warning. Uh, here we go, and the new project has been loaded. You can um, <coughs> load an existing project, save one, save one with a different name. You can copy and paste pad when the pads are located here. 16 pads and each pad correspond to a track and at the moment we are in track mode as it is selected here we can also enable the media learn, uh, learn mode set some preferences for global settings midi and audio and effects as well and we can um, <clears throat> look at uh, audio medium preferences where you, for example, decide your sample rate, your device, and your MIDI inputs, etc., etc. And of course, you can also reach out for additional help, where you can find user manual, quick helps, tutorials, etc., etc. Next, here where it says new, we have the name of the project. In this case, I created a new project, so this way it says new. Next, we have a button song if you click on it you enable song mode and you can see here you have your timeline where you will drop patterns which you select from here and then you have additional option for the copy and paste to show the latex etc etc which will go through in additional tutorials <coughs> next we have a general volume which we get set in decibel so let's set it low like that then moving on here you have your uh, timeline for uh, uh, your uh, pattern so in four bits, for example, and here you can set the, tra the transport where you want uh, where you want it to start to play using the transport controls you, you can find here for play. As you can see, it started playing, stop, and of course record. And of course, as you record, you will hear a metronome, and as you stop the recording, it will go automatically in play. So you can hear what you recorded and of course you can stop it clicking on the stop transport button. Next we have here a list of 16 pads. Each pad is a track and we are in track mode so you can select each uh, pad and here we have the selection also of tab, pad sorry, which you can change also uh, which I'll show you in a second. On the track you have a different option for example we are in edit mode it is where you see the uh, selection of the um, your instrument or sample so in this case we can choose a library so for example an existing one like EDM factory but there are others like in this case urban factory um, out of the box you can have your user library and you can buy additional packs of course <clears throat> let's choose a category for example <clears throat> a drum elements let's choose a bass drum then let's click on this bass drum big room and after you click you can click again to sample it or preview it okay when you've done here you can where you can select for example the different pads the first one is selected and we can click load and it will load it into that one and then of course we can click exit and you can see here we have loaded that sample into that pad of course we can increase a little bit more the volume here you have a selection uh, for a volume and this allows you to trigger a different volumes for example the same pad you have a selection for a pitch which depends on a scale that you selected here which we'll have a look at in a new tutorial but in in um, um, uh, as a starter you can set scales for example like so and you can set also the key uh, down here okay in this case select the scale of minor and C minor here's where you can also set the level of modulation and this is particularly useful when you load an instrument you can also decide to mute a particular part in terms of uh, playing you can erase a pattern so you click erase and then you click on uh, 
a pod and then it gives you a number of options which we'll look at uh, in future videos you can s use this button to select uh, a particular pad without making it sound so you hold the select button then you click on the pad and then your option have an option for repeat which will repeat um, if you hold that and then you click on the pad oops we are still in mode so let's come out from the mute mode repeat it will repeat that particular path sound depending on the quantized uh, grid which is selected on here. Okay, <clears throat> let's um, show you, for example, a another instrument. I choose another path and uh, I go inside here and I can click an instrument bell and I load that, for example. Here we go, I loaded it down here. In this case, if I go to pitch. Okay, that becomes really handy for that particular instrument. Moving on the, under the track um, uh, settings, you can edit uh, your sample, which you can load it here. You can set it again, the pound, the pitch, the high pass filter, low pass filter, also some reflector verb delay, and assign also the choke group. You have the possibility to set your ADSR envelope for attack the case sustaining release for the pad you've selected. You can record a sample, which we'll look at that in a subsequent video. And then you can see also the samples that you recorded and do further settings. Additionally, you also have the ability to select a pattern and therefore you can have 16 pads for each pattern. Okay. And then when you have um, selected a pattern, you can copy and paste, clear and change the length of a pattern. So for example, let's try to record something quickly using the bell acoustics. Let's go to pitch, let's click record. Okay, I recorded something simple in that second part so here i wanted to show you that the recording changes the color here on pattern number one and if i click on the step editor here is where you see in this case the uh, your piano roll typical okay for the pattern for the part that you have selected for the corresponding pattern which you can change for example here but you can also have a view uh, for each of the parts of belonging to the particular pattern what has been recorded and you have additional sample uh, settings sorry for snaps and do redo at the bottom and so on for changing <coughs> or drawing directly on the grid you click on the X to come go back to the previous video then following on on the explanation you have an undo and redo button you can set your quantization or not active or not and you said you set your grid for quantization you have your groove you click and hold and move up and down to change the settings here you can set the tempo as you normally do click and hold to move up and down for the tempo you can tap as well okay and here you have your transport control for play, stop and record. So I hope you found the introduction useful. This is the first video and now we go into uh, subsequent videos where we go deeper into the explanation of all the functionalities of BeatHawk. See you next time. Bye.